Hey there, my friends. Coach Kirk Shunta here. Oh, I look so dark in this picture, in this video. Anyways, uh, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'm going to talk about how to monetize your passions and start a digital business. So, you know, if you're watching this, you, you've probably thought before, you know, I would love to start a digital online business, but I don't know what I'm going to start that about. I don't know what I'm going to do that about, but I'm passionate about something. But how do I actually turn that into a business? And that's what I'm going to talk about right here. Like how you could flush this, flush, flush, flash, whatever this out, flush this out. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> so anyways, I'm Coach Kirk Shinta, um, and I actually help beginner um, affiliate marketers and network marketers uh, grow their businesses on Facebook and social media without paid ads and actually, you know, make money for once online, right? That's what I help people do. All right. So if you're watching this on YouTube, smash the subscribe button. And if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, make sure you hit the live notifications uh, thing so that you get notified the next time I go live and do a training just like this. All right, let's get right into the thing. So the thing to know is when you're ready to start and monetize your passions okay um and start a business around it like you ready to get some coins around what you're passionate about you really kind of um understand the framework of what you need to know before you even start getting to the money and once you understand this you'll be able to not only make a lot more money but see the value in what you help people do so that you will have confidence in charging people what you charge them okay so everyone in life no matter what it is they go through this process where it's like they're in a current situation. So I want you to write this down. A, right? A. A is your current situation, where you are now. You know, um, so for example, let's say your current situation right now is you're divorced. Okay? That's your current situation. We're going to use that as an experience. Okay? So A, you're currently divorced. Okay? Um, that's your current situation. Now, in between, if you draw just a line, right? You're going to draw a line from A to B. This is where your experiences are. These are the things that you now know because you've been through it. The, this is where the experience and expertise comes in. Now that you, your current situation is that you're divorced, but as a result, you have developed some experiences. You understand how to navigate divorce. You understand how to control your emotions during the divorce, how to rock, have better confidence as you go through the divorce. These are all things that you learned, all experiences that you gained because you went through a divorce. Okay. Now the B is the desired outcome. What is the desired outcome that you want as a result of having gone through the divorce? Well, hopefully you'll come out on the other side, more confident, happier, um, more, more introspection, uh, more reflection, more faith, all those things. Those are all desired outcomes. Okay. So again, you're moving from A to B. Um, now the experiences in the middle, all the things that you had to go through and that you went through and that you learned as a result, that's the, what is called the gap. That is where the money is, right? So if you can imagine someone, um, just like you is out there on the internet and they don't want to avoid, I mean, they don't want to go through that gap. They don't want to go through those same experiences that you had to go through, that you learned all those great things, but they don't want to go through all of that, right? They want somebody to shortcut. Okay, I just got divorced. I don't want to go through that experience valley, right? I want you to tell me what I got to do to get over here to the desired outcome. So if you can remember that you went through it, and if you can help somebody avoid having to go through that, right, or to shortcut the amount of time that they're in that valley, they will pay you for that. Okay, so understand that people will pay you to help them avoid the gap and to get out of that painful valley. That's what they will pay you for. Okay, so that said, if you think about it in this way, I'm sweating. It's so hot. Okay, if you remember that. Um, you can always make money with anything. So let me give you some real life experiences from people that I actually know. And hopefully they're watching this because I've been telling all these people like, you can start a business, boo. You got skills, but a lot of people don't think in this way. So just step number one, this is going to be a five, um, a four step process. Okay. Step number one is to know that everyone, I don't care if you work, um, if you clean out fish bowls, whatever you do, whatever you are, you have experiences that are valuable and that someone will transact money for your time, your experience, and your expertise. And you have to begin from day one 
um, thinking of yourself as an expert. That's the first step to monetizing your passions and starting a digital business. Step number two is to actually brainstorm. Okay, so here's how you're going to do this. Okay, so you're going to get a pen and paper. And you're going to write down what are you passionate about, right? For my like my sister, she is an amazing, amazing couponer, right? I tell her all the time, like, you know how many people would pay you for your couponing tips, right? Coupons, right? What are, what are you passionate about, right? Another woman I know, she's passionate about hair. She knows all things hair, right? Um, social media. I'm I'm the queen. I love social media, right? So um, my mom is organization queen, and I tell her all the time, like, you need to start organization business, right? Are you a divorcee and you're passionate about helping other people who've been through divorce? Are you a teacher and you're passionate about teaching? What is it that you're passionate about? I want you to write that down. Okay, now that you've written that down, what's the number one thing that you know? Don't overthink this. What's the just one thing? Don't write down more than one. What's one thing that you can show someone to make their life easier? Okay, so let's go back to couponing. Okay, um, my sister is extremely passionate about couponing. This is how she can turn this into money. Okay, so she's extremely passionate about couponing. So one thing that she could show somebody is her organization technique for couponing that will save people time because she got it down to the science. And I know myself, I'm like, take my coins because I don't want to do all that. If you could get my coupon in time, I might coupon in more regular, right? So that's the one thing she could show somebody and she could monetize that, okay? Let's say that, again, back to the hair example. What's the hair? What's the one thing that you can show someone to make their life easier. Maybe it's how to get more bookings. Maybe you have figured out in your own personal business with hair, as a hairstylist, how to keep your calendar full. That's one thing that you can show someone, okay? And you can turn that into to real money, okay? Now, social media. What's the one thing I show people how to do? Leverage free Facebook and social media to make sales, right? Organization queen, my mama. <laughs> right so if you're organization queen what's the one thing that you can show people right maybe how to organize your week as a busy mom so that you have more time for yourself because you know how to do that you've been through that valley my mom used to have calendars all around the house right we had like big old wall calendars and we had our activities and all types of things we had color coded this and that but that organization late you know i realized it freed up time for her Right, because everything was organized, everything had a system and a flow. I think that's why I am the way I am today. <laughs> I love it. Okay, maybe you've been through a divorce. What's the one thing that you can teach someone? One thing. Maybe that one thing um, is that you can teach uh, someone how to have better confidence, um, how to have better confidence as they, or how to have better confidence as they go through the divorce process. Okay, um, and then. Maybe you're a teacher. What's the one thing that you might be able to teach somebody as a result of your lived experiences and something you're passionate about, right? So maybe you're a teacher and the one thing that you can teach someone is, or you could teach a beginner teacher, you know, how to do lesson planning um, in an hour or less a week or two hours or whatever it is, right? So write down that one thing that you could show someone related to what you're passionate about that would make their life more easier. Okay, now that you've done that, we're still in the brainstorming phase, okay? Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna also brainstorm what have been your experiences, good or bad, related to your passion. So, for my sister, her passion is couponing, right? So when she first started couponing, I'm sure there were headaches that she experienced. She needs to write those down. Now, on the other side, what are the great things that she loves about couponing now that she has, um, that she loves as a result, the, the good stuff, right? So you're going to write down the bad and the good. What have been your experiences? Good and bad. Okay. Same thing with hair, right? As a hairstylist, right? You're going to write down those experiences, uh, especially if you're talking about teaching people, you know, booking, right? What have, what were some of your booking headaches? Write those down. Okay. Write down the good stuff. Now, as a result, what do you, what, what are the good experiences you have with booking? You have a full calendar, right? You have an amazing business. Your sales went up 50%, right? 
right? Things like that. You know, same thing with divorce. You feel better about yourself, things like that. Maybe you went on and got remarried. That's the good stuff, right? So now that you've kind of wrote down the good and the bad, now you can actually tell somebody else why they should pay you. Why they should pay you, okay? Um, now, number four, no, uh, number three, while we're still in a brainstorming phase, this is where you're going to brainstorm all the ways that you can make money related to your passion project, related to what you're passionate about, okay? So, for example, my sister, who is amazing at couponing, I'm going to keep saying that because I'm, I'm like, girl, if you don't start you, if you don't monetize this, girl, I'm going to find a way to monetize it for you, okay? So, <laughs> couponing. You know, let's say you were amazing at couponing. You could go ahead and you could start a Facebook group and you could literally like use software and funnel tons of women from other couponing pages and groups and product groups and things like that into mommies, into the into your Facebook group. And you could literally, uh, you know, have a pinned post and tell them like, hey, like I, I, I have a mini course on couponing and it's, you know, $45, right? And you know how many women would pay you to teach them how to coupon, right? To save money, especially now, like, are you kidding me? So anyways, so couponing. So that will be, that's one way, brainstorming how ways you can make money, right? Maybe um, you make a decision that you're gonna make a YouTube channel around your passion. And you're going to find a way to uh, link that passion to some affiliate products, right? Affiliate marketing means some company will give you their link. Um, so let's say uh, you were a divorce, you were a divorcee and you wanted to find a way to monetize that. You might start a YouTube channel about divorce and, get, and talk to other women and give tips on divorce. Um, and maybe you could find an affiliate product around divorce. Or you could also um, charge women... Um, like a one-time fee to hop on the phone with you to talk to them about having better confidence as a divorce, right? Um, things like that. So these are all, you know, you are hairstylists and you know those tips, right? You know, you could literally start a YouTube channel, okay? And uh, tell, give many tips and tell other hairstylists like, hey, if you want to know the full shebang, what I know, I have a course on it. I have a mini course. It could be a vid just one video you made and you sell that video, right? Don't overthink this stuff. So what are the ways that you can monetize um, your experience? You know, could you could you create a Facebook group around it? Um, things like that. So these are all things that you could do. You can also keep it local, right? What are ways that you could do like little uh, workshops in your local area to introduce people to what it is you have to offer? Could you do a meetup? Things like that. Right? Could you create an event, right? Could you create a Facebook event and invite other women um, in your area or whoever it is, right? To see, to take locally, keep things local sometimes, to take a look at what you're doing, okay? So again, let me repeat the steps. Know that everyone has experiences that are valuable. Two, brainstorm. What are you passionate about? What's the number one thing you could show someone else to make their life easier? Uh, what have been your experiences, good and bad, related to your passion, okay? And then brainstorm the ways you can make money, okay, with around your passion project, okay? Now, I want to um, also say this. Step number three is to not overthink it. i kind of been mentioning that throughout, but I'm going to go back to that. Don't overthink it, okay? Let me give you a prime example. When I first became a coach, um, I was doing coaching before I even knew I was a coach, <laughs> So one of the things that I did early on was I literally created a Google Doc and I like put my best tips on there and um, I would just tell, you know, I just posted on social media, told people what I had to offer and I was like, hey, if you want it, you know, hop on a Zoom with me and people would get on my calendar and they would hop on Zoom with me and I would open my Word doc and I just tell them what I knew, right? And they, they PayPal me, you know, whatever, right, that my price was. Okay, so sometimes we overcomplicate things and the reality is you might only need a few simple tools. My favorite tools are like Zoom and Facebook Messenger um, and PayPal or at the time PayPal. I hate PayPal now like they suck, <laughs> but a payment processor like a way to get the coins. Right. And there's so many ways to get the coins. You can use Cash App. You can do um, Square. I use Square. You could use um, you can even do Facebook payments. Right. If you're keeping it on the platform. Right. 
and so just keep it simple you don't need a website i want to say that right now i can't you know you don't need a website eventually yeah you're going to want to get a website but starting out with your passion project and monetizing you don't need a website you know if you want to be like oh i want something to be legit okay um go create a sales page or create a Facebook fan page and then eventually move into creating a website. But starting out, you don't need that. You know, a lot of times when people say branding and technical and all, you know, people um, overcomplicate things and I'll speak from experience, <laughs> overcomplicate things and it prevents you from getting started. And the whole point of being an entrepreneur and, and making money is to get started. Okay. Um, so that's it. So you really only need you know, like, uh, I would say Zoom, um, Facebook Messenger, if you want to just stay on the platform, a payment processor, and Google Doc, right? And you could literally get started. I know a lady who charges uh, $3,000 a month for coaching. Um, and listen, this woman has no website. She literally has turned a Google Doc into a page, into like a website. Okay, like it's literally a picture, it explains her services, and it has a PayPal button. And she like, pay me. <laughs> and it's a Google Doc. So don't overthink these things, my friend. Go get your coins. All right, number four is to monetize it. And this is very important. Put a price on your stuff. So you've already, you know, you know what it is, what your passion project is. You know, maybe you want to start a course around couponing. You kind of brainstorm, okay, I like couponing. I want to create a course on Coupon I'm going to create a channel on YouTube and I want to market my course, um, and my mini course, even if it's just a video, I want to sell it to people um, who want to learn how to coupon. Okay, cool. Now what you want to do is you're going to monetize that. Don't you be giving away your jewels free. Okay, now when you put a price on it, put some respect on your name. Put some respect on your name. Don't be going around put some little penny course on it because you feel like, you know, a penny price on it because you feel like you're a beginner. Okay, you may be a beginner now, but you're going to grow. So I'm not saying go, like, be like, oh, yeah, I'm a beginner. Like, I'm about to charge people, like, $8,000 or $3,000 or whatever. But, like, for example, you know, don't be charging, get like, $25 or $40. You're worth more than that. So, you know, I would say go ahead and whatever it is, at least start at 100 Okay. So monetize whatever it is um, that you're offering, or even 97, whatever. I ain't going to tell you how to get your coins, right? But monetize, okay? Put a price on it and put some respect on your name. Know that you're worth whatever you charge, right? Don't let other people... Here's what I always say. When people come to me, you know, I, I laugh sometimes, like, because I'm in entrepreneur groups sometimes, and people say, oh, their prices are too high, and this, that, and the other. And I just laugh, because I just be like, then that means that you're not, that person isn't your ideal customer because your price, you know what the value is that you bring. You know what you, what your time is worth. You know what your um, course is worth or whatever. And it's not for somebody else to, to, to determine for you what the value of that is. Um, so put, put a price on it and stick by it, right? Put a price on it and stick by it. So that's it. Okay. And then so I hope really you got value out of this. You know, what I do is I do, so. you know, early on, I started off with this process of creating, monetizing my passions. But now these days, I do things a little bit different. I do something a little bit similar. But what I do is I actually leverage other people's programs um, that allow me to earn up to $1,000 per sale. And then I monetize or I create or craft my passions around it, which one of my passions is teaching other people how to leverage social media to be able to grow as entrepreneurs, right? Especially network marketers and affiliate marketers. So that's what I love to do is to leverage other people's programs, right? So I just gave a lot of examples of how you can monetize your passion, start digital business, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here's what I want you to do. Let me know in the comment section what your best takeaways were um, from this video. Let me know, did you get anything you know, of substance in this video, uh, shoot me a message if, on Facebook if, if you're like, yeah, yeah, I got some really good stuff from this. Send me a message on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube, smash the subscribe button and uh, go ahead and get in my um my group for um, network marketers and affiliate marketers. Uh, it's built like a boss academy. And I'll see you in the next video, my friend. Bye, guys.